I'm sharing this because testimony is our sharpest sword against the enemy. The reasoner is bold with the things that he brings into our minds through every avenue, so I will not water down what Jesus has done in my life. I was chained to pornography for 10 years, nicotine for four, and I struggled severely with crippling anxiety for three years, which I felt that I could do nothing about and could often make me throw up without notice. I've stolen, I've scattered dishonor, and I've wounded. Have I been pretty good at hiding all of that? I apologize. That is what the reasoner wanted me to do. 1 John 2, 4 through 5 says that whoever says that they know him but does not keep his commandments is a liar. But if we keep his commandments, truly the love of the Father is perfected. I've been a hypocrite and I've been a liar, but that is not the end of my story because I can confidently tell you that the Creator has nurtured me back to freedom. I have died and been resurrected. I'm a new man, never to feel at home in sin ever again. Forever, all glory be to Elion. 1 John 3 says that no one who continues to sin has seen him or known him. For the longest time, I have found comfort in religion, but I did not know him. I got to a point where I was so sick of myself and so done with what the world had to offer and I knew that I needed to get to know him. This is how it happened. About a year ago, I asked the Lord to show me exactly how and where I'd fallen short. He simply and profoundly did that. But if we refuse to get uncomfortable, we will miss what he is doing. It broke me all the way down and the pain quickly turned to hunger and I started to dig into the word to find out exactly what I was worth. If you ask God to reveal himself to you in his word, he will make it plain and simple to you. He is a good and gentle teacher. We've been lied to our whole lives. We don't just have to be broken sinners that are stuck in this cyclical Christian walk because he heals, he restores, and he breaks chains, and he calls us to walk as Jesus walked, spotless and blameless. It's nothing that I did. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says that if you are in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone, and the new is here. No matter where I am, people ask me if I'm from around here. I hope it's because I am now living as an ambassador for Christ and that does not look normal to people. I see it in so many others too. You can see it in their eyes that they meet with the King. I think about the things that I used to do and it actually feels like a dream from a past life. I cannot believe some of my past because according to Ephesians 5.8, before I was darkness and now I am light. Read the living word. Walk as a Christ-like one. Talk to him. He is a good, good father and would delight in nothing more than to clean your boo-boos. Let him be God. Whoa.